Guys, welcome back to another Saturday Live. Ooh, it's been a while. Actually, I see Saturday Live. These are pre-recorded, but they're pre-recorded live interviews. Today, I've got the and awesome... And they go up on the Saturday. They go up on the Saturday, right? They do. They go up on the Saturday. There we so... go. How would I have done? <laughs> <laughs> so, do you, that's what I mean. Like, so the, so one, the one I did last week was with Temple Grandin. Uh, and if you right. don't know who Temple Grandin is, she's a really famous autistic woman. And right. today, Daniel Rhodes is in Hello. the chair. Dan, I am in the building, ladies and gentlemen. How are we? Thank you for having me on, mate. By the way, I absolutely love your name. Uh, it's, a, it's a good <laughs> name. Um, it's the same one that I have myself. And I love the channel, more importantly. So thank you very much for getting me on. I really appreciate it. Thank you, mate. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a long time coming. I actually... Okay, cool. So, yeah, I think you reached out to me um, just to kind of say, hey, I love the content. Um, I think you were doing Instagram first, right? Yeah, so I started on Instagram. Uh, I didn't have much success there. I got to about 40,000 followers, roughly, and then, which is still awesome, but uh, it really blew up for me. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I've got, I was going to say, when he asked me how I was, I was going to say I could be better if I tried, but uh, I've actually got a bit of a cold today, guys. So apologies <laughs> if, um, if I sound like I've got a bit of snuffy nose, because I have. So the elephant's out of the room now. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I went over <laughs> to TikTok. Uh, and then that's where I hit my first million followers on a platform, which was like amazing for me. I just couldn't believe it. And then YouTube released this thing called YouTube Shorts, which is like short form content. And then, yeah, I just had so much like TikTok content to post on YouTube, posted them all, and then it, it blew up from there. So, yeah, there's my life story, everybody. Put on amazing. A so, 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 Dan, for people who don't may not know who you are, if you don't, you have to go and watch this guy's magic tricks. I watch him on a daily basis. This guy's 18 oh, and he is kicking butt with the magic industry. You're a magician, right? So, yes, tell, just tell you. my viewers and, and the listeners kind of like who you are and what you do. Uh, so, my name is Dan. I am a wizard. Sorry, no, a magician. A magician. Uh, being a wizard <laughs> too hard. What can I say? Uh, yeah, I'm a magician. <laughs> um, yeah, I never got my Hogwarts acceptance letter. They said I was too much of a muggle, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm a magician. I've been doing magic <laughs> since I was seven years of age. And um, yeah, just uh, I learned card tricks every week. My uncle would teach me um, a new card trick to learn every single week when we used to go to swimming lessons. Uh, and I just carried on practicing from there. And then I, I turned a professional magician at the age of nine. So I was doing like weddings, christenings, all things like that. And then when lockdown hit, I just started making a ton of content. And here I am today. I've been posting a ton of stuff. And now we're on uh, 8 million on TikTok, which I can't even believe. And uh, yes, uh, three days ago, I hit 6 million YouTube subscribers. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, that's you do. It's like just amazing, amazing. I love it. And I love that you, you leveraged uh like new technology like that's it's really interesting when people say like how do i grow a platform so you when they promoting a new product use that product because they're going to want to promote those videos they're going to push it and push it so you, i love that you're riding that wave so um i say there's a lesson to be learned there from your kind of you know business growth model, model right yeah exactly i mean if, if if anyone wants to succeed in the entertainment industry these days um i don't see anyone doing it at a high level like obviously there's no little but obviously be exceptions to the rule but without social media because it's like it is the place to be if you're a, a singer, an actor, or maybe maybe not an actor, maybe that's the one I'm saying, but a singer, a magician, even, even an actor, but like a comedian, literally anything, a dancer, it's suitable for everyone. And you need to be really like doubling down on social media content, in my opinion. That's it. That's it. And do you know what's really funny? I like I literally don't use any of the skills that I have on my social media account. I literally talk to people about autism, which gets me to the first piece of juicy content. Dan, talk to us about autism. What's going on? Autism. Um, so yeah, actually, I'm not like as clued up on autism of you, of course, uh, autism, if I could speak. Um, but yeah, I know a bit about it. Obviously, I studied it because I have Asperger's syndrome, like yourself. Um, I got diagnosed when I was uh, 10 or 11, I believe, uh, just because like the signs were there at school. So a lot of the teachers were saying, because they, they tried me out for dyslexia first, and I didn't have that. I could read fine and whatnot. And they tried me out for a few other things. Um, and then we went to a specialist, did a bunch of tests and whatnot. And then, boom, they said I had a Asperger's syndrome. Um, so it's the reason I messaged you about this recently as well, because uh, Asperger's isn't given anymore as a, um, what's the word? A diagnosis. Yeah. 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 Why is that? So Asperger's was replaced by the term ASD or autism spectrum disorder back in 2013 when the DSM, which is the, or the DSM-5, which is the updated version of the clinical kind of manual of how they diagnose people using something right. called a DISCO report or an ACEL report. When they updated the term, they took away the, the terminology of Asperger's syndrome and just 
put anybody who would be in that category just in with all of the autism spectrum disorders. So right. rather than you, because there's a confusion there when people say I've got Asperger's or I've got autism, they say, well, what's the difference? And there's, there's a difference in the fact that there's a there's a support needs level, right? You know, so I've seen people yeah, who are kind exactly. of like really kind of like need loads of support. They can't even like, you know, make food or even talk. But then there's people like yeah. you and I who are on another side where we can, you know, verbally use our lexicon and vocabulary. So so basically what they wanted to do is just lump it all together as autism spectrum disorder. So nobody was left out of accessing support because one of the biggest things right. was when people said, hey, I really need support on this. And they say, oh, why? You know, well, I've got autism. And they say, okay, where's your diagnostic paper? And they present it. It says Asperger's syndrome. Right, I see. Kind of like... Well, that's not really how, so, how do you then categorize because i know that asperger's in some cases normally high functioning right and then sometimes if you've got another form of autism it might be like you need extra help or additional support um yeah. so is it just all together so anyone who's on the spectrum can get support what's needed in any way exactly that's the idea because yeah. how, how do you because it's subjective like how do you how would you sort that out you know and yeah. it's really interesting because i was diagnosed with asperger's syndrome but i'm recently right now smack bang in the middle i've got one more appointment left i'm getting an updated version of my diagnosis so a more right. detailed breakdown which is cool right um right, and they've really changed cool. that well, now, so if anyone ever asked me i'm still gonna say i've got asperger's because like exactly that, that's what you're what used to right yeah. yeah yeah exactly so i'm just gonna say asperger's syndrome and then if yeah, they, if, if they might correct me. You know, I went no, to the but, <laughs> You know what? You're, you're not tr- you're not trying to offend anybody. You know, so it's kind of it's cool. It's cool. So, you know, yeah. I really wanted to get you on because a few things. We know each other like a year or two now, and it's kind of cool because like um, we've got the same name. You know, we're doing content on the internet. Both of us wear syndrome. I think it's kind of cool. And you like the color black, so you win. The only difference is I always wear black. It's the only color <laughs> I wear. <laughs> and me as well, actually. Like everything's black. But it, exactly. you're the amazing Dan, and I'm like the just Dan. <laughs> Nah, nah, the amazing Dan. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I'm just a magician, so you can call me Dan Dan the Magic Man. But we need to pick a maybe it's like Dan Dan the Genius Man for you, or like Dan Dan the it's Autism gonna... Genius Guru Man. <laughs> there we go. No, no, let's like. <laughs> Let's not get too hasty here. I am spotting my own merch, by the way. So if anybody wants to get my hat, link is in the description yeah, down below. Yeah, the merch. By the way, he paid me to say that, so I'm expecting an invoice after this of a uh, hundred pounds, <laughs> no less. Just gonna, no. yeah, I'm just uh, just shipping it off right now. I guess uh, my yeah, account. I send you my PayPal information after this. Yeah, 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 absolutely right. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. What so, <laughs> here's a question. Okay, so I, here's a burning question, right? Because I, I just love chatting to you and it's really cool. And I know we're running out of time because I, I, we were late starting and Dan always does a thing. that says like 10 out of 10 or 6 out of 10 or 7 out of 10 when he does a magic trick. Well, I'm going to rate his timekeeping is 0 out of 10. Yeah, I apologise. <laughs> Don't I, worry, uh, mate. I, 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 appeared tw- uh, I appeared 20 minutes uh, late to the Zoom and that's just not acceptable in this day and age. So uh, I we did have technical difficulties, so... We did. We had it was both our faults actually because we were meant to have a Zoom yesterday, uh, yeah, and then and he, he was busy. He cancelled last minute on me, uh, which I was <laughs> devastated. I couldn't sleep that night, mate, because well, I was just sorry, man. I was thinking about you. You didn't love me anymore, my friend. And then, <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, wait, 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 wait. I follow you on Instagram. Who don't talk about love hate relationship here, man? Yeah, he's upset. I don't follow him back on Instagram. I'll have to. True uh, story. I'll have to follow him back right after this. <laughs> and when he, when he does, everyone will know. I'm gonna put I'm gonna post that on Instagram. So everyone go double hat that IG to know that Dan actually followed me. Um, yeah, okay, so the burning the burning question. Um, do you? And this is something I, I've got interest in. Right? Does do you feel like having Asperger's syndrome helped you double down on your skills as being a magician? Right? Do you think that it's like supercharged you into doing what you did? A hundred and ten percent. Because like, I am just so like obsessed with what I'm doing. And like it's the same when I was younger, like anything I used to get obsessed with, I wouldn't say they were useless things, but they were things that like didn't really help in any way. So like at one point I was obsessed with coin collecting. Like you could ask me any question about any coin, I'd know the date of it, I'd know what like literally because people with Asperger's, I see like Asperger's. The way I see Asperger's is right, say if you had like a chart of like say someone who doesn't have Asperger's, um, they might be good at like they might say say like give an example maths english science and then just a bunch of random things so a normal person i wouldn't i don't like saying normal person but someone neurotypical they call it neurotypical yeah, right? neurotypical all right i'd say like say if they were good at like say if the graph goes to about here and maybe someone's like good at this and then a bit higher so they're good in another area and then it's look so it's kind of it's balanced the good and bad things yeah. whereas i'd say me i'm like this bad at almost everything else and in one area i'm obsessed with it's like here like it's like yeah. it's like hitting the uh, the ceiling. So like with me, 
um, when it when I was obsessed with random things, I'd literally absorb every inch of information. People could be talking to me about any random thing, and I just it just leave my brain like if it wasn't something I was interested in, it going. Another time I was like I still am, but really into watches. So you could ask me any question about that, or you could ask me. I used to be obsessed with like different TV shows, and I knew everything about it. So when I became obsessed with magic, obviously I got really good at that. And then in the last two or three years, when I got obsessed with social media, it's literally all I do. Like I eat, sleep and breathe and absorb information and just pump out content like nonstop. So I feel like, yeah, exactly. To answer your question, 100 percent. Love it, man. I love it. And, you know, I'm the same. Like I I started out doing, you know, like I have a lot of interests. Like I, I got a degree in chemistry because like it was one of my real interests. Like I love chemistry. And so yeah. I did that, you know, like I, I want to try a book. So I kind of double down and I have like a best selling book out. It's crazy. Right. So That's I really amazing. know, like, you know, I, I get it, you know, and, I, and there's loads of things. I've got loads of, loads of reception, obsessions, like some of mine, like Japanese culture, things like that. And like random yeah. weird fact, right. And science and stuff. Yeah. But, one of the things I really love is social media um, and the growth strategies of social media and trying to find like really, really obscure niches like Asperger's syndrome. It started when I used the term Asperger's syndrome to grow my channel. right? Yeah. So it was like bizarrely niche to try and grow a, a platform. And obviously now it's my business. And the thing is, it's like, I feel like if you're on social media, you either want to go like, you want to pick something that can like um, relate to a big audience or you can pick a niche one. And I'd say more often than not, having a niche audience is more powerful than having like um, 100%, a, a, a broader, yeah, a, a broader range of yeah, exactly, like a broader range of things. Because say if like someone doing pranks or something random, obviously it appeals to a wider audience because it's easy to understand. Blah, 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 yeah. blah. But when it comes to like really connecting with that audience or like releasing merch or doing this or like maybe a cause or really building a tight knit community it's sometimes better uh, more than often to have like a smaller audience because you might see people with 200, 300K, maybe less or whatever, but they've got, they built such a solid brand around one specific niche uh, niche, and obviously one appeal to everyone because some people don't care about if you've got autism or they don't care about anything else. Yeah, yeah. Like but for those that do, it's very, you know, it's very, um, what's the word? Yeah, lucrative, looking? right? Yeah. Luke, not only lucrative, but you're just building a tight knit community. Exactly. Yeah, and it's a, it's going to grow. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, definitely. And like, that was the thing. Like when I started, I did all kinds of videos. I was sh- sh- kind of showing like my life and a little bit of that. And then I did some music because I'm a multi musician as well. I got obsessed with music when I was in in school. So. Oh, really? I play a bunch of different instruments and um and I'm in different bands and got records out in Japan, ironically. Um, but like Damn. things like like yeah, I know I've done a lot of a world with you, but I've done a lot of things. He's been you know, around it's, it's the block, time. guys. Dad has, dad has done some stuff. <laughs> I have dad been is... around the block, man. Just it's but you know it's it's cool because I've done all the things like media related, but I feel like all of those things kind of set me on a path to do what I'm doing now, which is creating content, curating content, educating people, and creating like an awareness platform that people go, Oh yeah, now I get I get, understand it. I understand all this. Yeah, that's how I found yours because every now and then I'll like research stuff about Asperger's to try and if someone asked me what it because when someone used to ask me what it is, um, I wouldn't really have an answer. So sometimes I'd kind of be like, right, I wanna I wanna just figure out the facts that's where I came across your channel and I thought that like the information you kind of made it very easy to understand because normally when you see videos on matters like this it's normally like someone who doesn't have Asperger's or autism like maybe a, prof- a boring professor or something like that it's like yeah you guys are bored behind them, like this is Asperger's this is like in a, <laughs> normally in America this is Asperger's yeah. syndrome and this is yeah. what the condition does and like and like with you obviously you've got it yourself so it's very wholesome and like obviously I always say that if someone has something or someone, it's more easy to listen to someone who knows what they're talking about because, like, you obviously you have Asperger's yourself, so you've studied it. Whereas, like, say if, say if someone did a video on how to become a millionaire and they're not a millionaire, then you, you know, you you're thinking, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. How can you, you know, teach you, me anything? Yeah. <laughs> you can come from the horse's mouth, as you say. Is that a saying? Or I just mean? Yeah, the horse's mouth. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what the relevance it is, but that's what people would say. Yeah. Oh, it has to come from the horse's mouth. It has a nice ring to it. It has a nice ring to yeah, it. You know? like it does. The big question is, oh, Dan, are you a millionaire? Am I a millionaire? Uh, not quite. Not quite yet. But uh, I do. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I, 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 I want. I, it's a big goal of mine to be a millionaire, though. So um, really, next time, next, I'll come on next time. I'm a millionaire, and we'll. Uh, we'll you talk will. About We're going to do it because because I'm also not going to let you escape that easy. I'm going to get you on WhatsApp as well, so I keep you a close eye on you. Yes. Because I know because two things. 
two things that I know. Instagram, my inbox on Instagram is always rammed and I've got half the amount of people you have, right? And my my inbox already, my team take care of my inbox or my actual email inbox is just rammed. So our communication is terrible. And uh, yeah, it's not yeah. a strong point in autism either, is it? No, we'll get, we'll, so, exactly. We'll get a, um, we'll get, we'll get all the right stuff set up now. You'll get my number and I'll follow you back where I finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, well, I'm just living the dream, man. I'm, gonna, I'm living the I'm dream. Put the question on you, Dan. Are you a millionaire yet? Not quite. I'm on my way though. And do you know what? It's funny. I'm, I'm, I'm actually writing a book called um, "The iPad Empire: How to Make a Million Dollars Using an iPad Pro Only." Because I, I work solely Listen, on an I'm, iPad Pro. I'm not, I'm not going to read that book until you become a millionaire. So I just I see. Just that's what I mean. It. So I have yeah. to. Do, but but it, it's I'm in the process of doing so. So yeah, and it's not because I want to. It's not because you, you know. It, it's not because being a millionaire is a, a status thing. It's more like a could somebody? Because I had a really interesting life. Like my, I, I literally came from nothing. My parents lost everything. Lost our house. Lost everything. Came right. came from absolutely nothing. And then I built up this business and then i'm in a position where i'm like you know buying a house and buying car like a tesla car just cool right oh, and that, then like that's, not, that's what my, i want that's that's the car i really want so i'm trying to get driving lessons at the moment it's not going to be my first car because the insurance will be crazy but i want yeah. to get like a run around for a year and then i'm gonna, and I'm get, gonna tesla. get a tesla you, yeah you gotta you gotta you gotta come and visit and we'll, we'll hang out in the tesla you can stay we got yes, you see yes, the new we'll office because the house i just bought yeah, we'll have a. Well, I check out your new house, and we'll have a race in the Teslas, my friend. Dude, that's we'll what's go, that's what's going to happen. It is, and I I think there's another there's a British YouTuber I follow who just does Tesla videos. Um, right. what's his name? Uh, oh, I've forgotten his I name. Is I've it seen, Toby? I think I've seen him. Toby. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah, he's got like a uh, purple hair sometimes or blue. Yes, hair. Yes, I've seen him. Yes, he's sick. Guy's a ledge. Him. Yeah. Yeah, and he just, yeah. do you know what's funny about him talking about social media? He just says, oh, I'm going to b- make a channel tomorrow on uh, fluffy pink eggs and it's going to get a million followers. And he just does it. I'm like, what? Is this guy, like, <laughs> he's, yeah, he is pretty good. Anything he creates just, just blows yeah, up, does it? The guy, yeah, it's absolutely, yeah. but he's a really nice guy. And I think personality has a lot to do with it. And I think that's why you're so likable, you know, Dan, like you're a cool guy, Thanks. you're, you're oh, young. Thank you. Like you know, Gen Z, fresh off the off the plate, doing magic that kicks butt on a lot of people who do magic professionally, you know. And it's it's yeah. good, it's good tricks. You can, keep, you can keep the fifty quid since you said such a nice yes. thing about it. You know, oh, man, I get <laughs> I get it. You know, I'm on my way to a millionaire. No, but um, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, if you save anyway, it, God. that's the first step. <laughs> yeah, that is it. Yeah, you got to save all your money. See, millionaires yeah. don't spend money. That's how they, they yeah. just accumulate well, money. They, see, don't they spend. They spend it on a. They don't keep the money in the bank. They, they, uh, they're always no. spending it. They're always reinvesting. Oh, they are reinvesting. Those reinvestors, eh? Anyway, Dan, uh, and I've got money and stuff like that. Um, look, it's been really interesting to have you on the show. I know it was a kind of a bit of a, a crazy one. It was a bit of a whirlwind, but I'd love to have you back and we'll do uh, some more fun stuff. Maybe we can play some games. We could do like uh, just some fun podcasts and stuff. So is there anything yes, you'd like to tell my audience and, and maybe where they can find you? Uh, yes, so you guys can find me on Instagram, it's Dan Rhodes Magic. Uh, find me on YouTube, it's at Dan Rhodes. And TikTok is also at Dan Rhodes if you want to check me out. And if you've got any questions, uh, just DM me. Uh, I always try and respond to as many as possible. Um, and if I, don't, if, I don't, if I don't respond at first, just send me another one because people sometimes like, I've sent you 10 DMs, but I get like 20, 30 a million. DMs yeah. a day. So like, uh, <laughs> I, try, I try and respond to as many as I can. Um, and then that's another thing as well. I'm saying... If you've got one of the main things is if you've got a form of autism, don't let it hold you back. You know, kind of use it as a as a strength is what I always say because I feel like there's still and I love what you're doing trying to raise more awareness because I feel like there's a misconception that if someone is on like the autistic spectrum that um that it like I don't know that they're not not really a person in a way like they're not like right. us and I feel like you know because I've I've obviously had like right now the, the kid you see is like a bubbly guy but obviously. Um, if you if you yeah. live with me every, if you live with me every day you start to see the, the symptoms going through but um, you know, <laughs> it's one of them where you know don't let it hold you back and um, keep watching this guy's content because he knows what he's talking about. Dan, man, you're an awesome dude, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get you back, and I'm also gonna ask you when we finish recording, ask you about another project I've got going on. But anyway, guys, this has been awesome. Definitely check out Dan's stuff. I'll leave all his links in the show notes and the description of this video on all the social media platforms we're on. Guys, take it easy. Have a great Saturday, and we'll see Dan in the next one. Peace.